Our aha moment when we started Burrow was actually when we had a big oh no moment. We went out to manufacturers to produce our first product and that was when we realized this is why nobody in the industry is actually making the type of furniture that we want because they can't. Most furniture brands from the high end on down, they don't really design or make their own furniture. They just source furniture from different factories and designers. The people who are selling the furniture aren't talking to customers and understanding what are their pain points, how do we improve this end-to-end -end process. And so we start with customer research. That's how we started the company. We got lucky eventually we found a small factory outside of Mexico City that would produce for us. If you look at most furniture brand catalogs, and you covered up the logo, it'd be really hard to tell what brand it is. You can kind of swap them out and they all do the same style shoots. And it's always in these amazing pristine homes that nobody can really afford and it just doesn't look lived in or real. We wanted to celebrate real moments at home. You'll notice that we always feature people living in a home the way that they would live in it. It can be a little bit messy, but it's still aspirational. And that's the connection that we want to communicate with customers is that we understand who you are and how you live your life and therefore we are the most qualified to come up with the best furniture for your life. One of the crazier ones that we did was called the Lords of Leisure. We reached out to a bunch of landlords and said, can we rent your front window space to do some sort of advertising? If you text the number that's on the window, he comes to life and will read you your fortune and the fortunes were all about like, you're gonna stay in tonight and like watch a movie or something. And it was really weird and out there but people liked it. Those types of things are really hard to measure, but if you hear people talking about it and then sharing it with their friends, that's like the best thing that, that we can look for. Partnerships don't always have to make the most sense immediately. We have partnerships with dog food companies. And the reason why is because a lot of our customers have dogs. And so we do partnerships with all sorts of companies with the commonality being our customers, not necessarily what the products that we sell. 